Hi guys, how are you doing? It's me, Sunny. Um, I wanted to kind of share with you guys today my quote-unquote hair journey. Um, about a year ago, one of my nieces told me to grow, see if I could grow my hair to my butt. Now, to give you a little bit of background, my hair has always been fairly long, um, so, but I cut it a lot. So I think the longest I've ever let my hair grow would be about here. So past shoulder length, but which is still considered like pretty long. But um, that would be the longest I would let my hair grow. So last year I had cut my hair. Was it last year? Yeah, last year I had cut my hair into like um, the Chinese bangs, so like blunt bangs going across and my hair literally stopped. It touched my shoulders. It was there. So my hair has gone from shoulder length to this. So all of this has been growth within the last like year. Yeah. So I just wanted to come in and share my products and the things I've been using because when you want to grow your hair that long you do have to baby your hair. Not saying that I didn't take care of my hair before because of course it would still be healthy hair I just yeah I didn't really care if the ends were really protected I didn't really care because chances were I was going to chop them off in a month who cares but um yeah so I just wanted to share with you my products now I'm not saying that these are the end all be all products and if you guys have any other products or whatnot feel free to let me know about them. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do suggest is you invest in a good flat iron. Mine is the Chi, um, this little fella, and it's the breast cancer edition. <laughs> and this month is breast cancer month, people. Just raise a little awareness. Make sure you do your checks. Um, but yeah, so that's the flat iron I use. Um, I'm not saying it's the end-all be-all. I love my Chi. Um, some people love the GHD, the FHI. Um, I used to use like eons and eons ago, like high school, college. I would use the Con Air ones, and not like in college, but like early college. <laughs> I would use the Con Air ones, and I just really like the Chi. Like, I really like it. Um, I'm not going to buy another one. Um, my cousin does, you know, those little boots in the middle of the mall. Um, I forget what they're called. Oh, oh well. I don't know what they're called. But um, she's got her flat iron from there, and her hair is similar to mine, and it works amazingly. So, you don't have to get this one, but invest in a good quality flat iron that won't fry your hair, that won't pull your hair. So, you want to invest in a quality flat iron. So since we started off talking about flat irons, you also need a heat protectant. My hair is naturally curly, so I blow dry my hair, then I flat iron it. And you have to use a heat protectant. So this one and the Chi 44 Guard, I use that, but I'm out of it. So um, yeah, the Trusted Bay works just as good, so you really don't have to spend your money on the Chi one. This one works just as good. Um, and I spray that on my hair before I blow dry it and again before I flat iron it. Now after I wash my hair, so I would say I would use this silk infusion, this Chi silk infusion stuff and this is the big bottle. Um, after I wash my hair, I use this. So I put this in right after I wash it just to kind of give it some, some moisture. So I use this right after I wash my hair. So before before the heat protectant spray. I guess I'm going all out of order. Okay. So I wash my hair. Wash it, shampoo, condition. Then I put my silk infusion on. Then I put my heat protectant spray on. Then I blow dry. Then I do this again and then I flat iron. So on my first day of flat ironing <laughs> I will typically, and I'm running out of this, use the Garnier Fruit Teeth um, anti frizz Serum, the Sleek and Shine, and this is for the, the first day that I flat iron. So I use this the first day that I flat iron. After that, 
As far as a daily oil, I've been using my Palmer's olive oil, and I do use this daily. So what I do with this is I spray two pumps on my hand, and then I'll grab my hair, and I literally concentrate on my ends with it. And then, again, two pumps, concentrate on my ends, two pumps, concentrate on my ends. Okay. At night, I put my hair up. I pull my hair up. I don't sleep with my hair down, going every which way. I don't do that. I pull it up. Now, also, another thing that's important is a white tooth comb if you've got naturally curly hair because you don't want to try to comb your conditioner through or comb anything like that with the regular comb because it'll get tangled and it's just a hot mess. So if you've got curly hair, definitely invest into this, into one of these. It'll cut down on your breakage. Now, on days when I want to wear my hair either in a ponytail or pull back into a bun, I use the Garnier um, fiber gum putty and it's a pliable mold and it's extra hold and that's just to tame my flyaways so I don't have to worry about like because I do have layers in my hair I don't have to worry about like them flying up everywhere so I do use this to keep them down so that's really good um, you also don't want to use rubber bands when you pull your hair into a ponytail you want to use the elastin on my have one on my wrist but I don't have one right now so um, you want to use the elastic, the no pull, so that they don't pull your hair or put strain on your hair. Um, oh, another question I do get asked, is this all your hair? Yes, it is. It's all me. It's it's messy and flat right now, but yeah, it's, it's all me. I look a hot mess. But yeah, so this is all my hair. Um, yeah. So my hair went from being shoulder length to about this length in a year. And I haven't measured it to see how long it is. It's just every time I wash my hair after every couple of weeks or so. Not that I only wash my hair a couple of weeks. But after I wash my hair, I'll kind of look and I'll take a picture. And I'm like, okay, almost there, almost there, almost there. But I'm actually enjoying having this length of hair. It's kind of odd. So I'm going to kind of miss it when I do decide to cut it off. But I'm going to turn around so you guys can kind of see, like, um, where it's actually at now. Yes, I have on my Hello Kitty pajamas. Like, I'm in lounge mode today. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys can see because I can't see y'all. So, I hope you can see it. So, that's where my hair is now. And, yeah. So, I'm almost at my goal. And... Yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks, guys, for watching, rating, and subscribing. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye-bye.